Some leftover cherry boil. Just going to see what I can make out of this on the way. We're going to start off with uh, taking some of this bark off um, and see what I've got underneath. Now this bark really does need to be removed, and the uh, grain that's sitting underneath that, the the, the uh, valleys and depths and dips of um, of the burlwood. Um, if you don't remove this, then um, the epoxy is not going to adhere to it. Too much dust and uh, gear inside that uh, bark will interfere with the epoxy going off, and you get an awful lot of bubbles as well. So, do your best. Um, I just uh, use uh, a chisel, as you've seen, and uh, also use a wire brush on the end of a drill. Okay, just uh, roughing up on the lathe here now. We've got the Hercules. Um, a roughing gouge, my go-to carbide gouge, and um, yeah, just sit back as uh, as we get this uh, part of the job done. The idea is to make a round of this um, burl so that I uh, can eventually put it into an epoxy mould and uh, get it uh, sitting into a, a better form. Um, but you'll see as you go. I've slowed parts down here so that the uh, video doesn't take up too much time. You'll notice there's a flat spot just there as the uh, form moves around. I decided that uh, instead of making the whole thing a lot smaller, I'd leave that flat part in and then uh, gouge it out later to um, insert a couple of pine cones to take up the void. Worked out pretty well, but it's better that than uh, losing some of this valuable um, cherry burl. Back in with the chisel and uh, the drill with the wire brush on the end to clean out this uh, bark. Messy work and necessary work. You've got to have this, uh, as I said, now a few times, clean right out. So here's the uh, round form um, finished off and it's ready to put into that uh, mould that I made out of uh, some half inch plywood and um, using uh, a uh, plastic, clear plastic acrylic just um, with uh, duct tape together um, using uh, hot glue just to put that uh, at the bottom of the uh, half inch plywood whole thing goes together and then straight into the uh, pressure pot which is sitting inside a crafted elements uh, silicon mold just in case it leaks um, it won't get inside the pressure pot um, it can easily remove the uh, wasted epoxy if there is a leak uh, I don't believe if you're making your own um, uh, molds um, just look at it as though it will leak 
Uh, so you allow for those sorts of situations. I used here one and two thirds of uh, liters of uh, epoxy, and um, yeah, with a bit of weight on the top, taking the pressure up to uh, 40 to 50 psi, and leave it to uh, cook overnight. Well, it's been 24 hours, and this is the nerve-wracking part, the big reveal. Off comes the lid. First thing I can see, hard as a rock, and there hasn't been a spill. That is just absolutely brilliant. So you can see, a bit of a close-up. Let's get it out of the pot and uh, inspect it. Well, here it is on the bench. Um, got a closer look. Um, actually, I really like the uh, green tint. Um, you can still see um, all the natural uh, voids of the uh, cherry burl. Uh, it looks like we did have a slight leak here, but fortunately, the uh, epoxy must have gone off at the time when um, that kind of blocked the hole that it was leaking through. So. Not a lot was lost. Yeah, I'll get the plastic off and let's see a little bit closer to that. There's the plastic uh, mold removed. Still see the pine cones embedded in there, it's good. The outside's good, voids been completely filled. So I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> so we're going to take the, uh, the wood base off and um, get it mounted with a uh, sacrificial truck, get it onto the lathe and we can start turning. To start off with, I use a face plate to um, anchor the uh, blank on the on the uh, headstock of the lathe. Uh, later on, uh, when I reversed, I uh, use a sacrificial truck um, hot glue to the what becomes the bottom of this uh, bowl. Works well. Just can keep in mind that um, the depth of that sacrificial truck keep to a minimum, maybe an inch, half an inch if it's, if it's good. So you minimise the vibration with such a weight being spinning around on the lathe, and uh, get too many um, tool marks on the uh, the epoxy, which uh, is easy enough to do if it's uh, wobbling around on a on a chuck.
I've probably said in my videos before when we're um, turning epoxy and especially burl with the epoxy combination um, I've kept to the negative rate uh, carbide scrapers to um, um, create the form on the outside and hollow out the inside of these bowls um, I've tried different um, types of tools um, most of them do do the job but not as well as uh, the negative rate carbide scrapers when it gets to stage like we're, we're looking at now um, scraping out the uh, center of the bowl and particularly where the majority of the material is um, burl it, 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 you take it easy you can't um, force that uh, tool into the workpiece um, regardless of whether it's negative rake or not you will catch and it takes great chunks of epoxy out uh, which um, becomes a real pain to deal with so if you're using the uh, negative ray scrapers they're good but you've got to take it easy and uh, be very careful with the job take your time don't rush um, and uh, clear up the mess as you go to because this stuff gets everywhere and I've had situations where the um, the material that's uh, excavated can uh, get in the way of uh, your, your job piece as you're going through. So keep it clean, keep it short. So the bowl's ready now to be um, finally finished with uh, a coat of uh, tabletop resin. It's a 50-50 mix. Um, in this sort of weather now, we're in the uh, winter time um, when the, the temperatures can be pretty low and if you haven't got uh, heating inside your workshop, um, this stuff really needs to be quite runny. So I mix it up 50-50 and then put it into the microwave uh, for 12 seconds to get that viscosity down to um, almost like a water-like substance. I use nylon brushes. Um, just get the uh, little more expensive ones so the brush hairs don't come out. You just simply do not want to get a brush hair, nylon or otherwise, stuck inside this epoxy because it's a, a real pain to get rid of um, it, uh, at a later date. So get the nylon brushes, apply it um, liberally and um, it has to be left running on something or another. I use a barbecue spit as you see on the wall there. Um, 8 RPM um, or you know 10 RPM or less uh, to keep that uh, tabletop epoxy um, distributed evenly all over the piece. Um, it does take uh, 24 hours to go off into a, at least a, a cured state. Um, so just uh, keep applying it as, uh, as best you can. As you run the brush around the piece and applying the epoxy, you'll find that the, the brush on uh, parts that are not covered kind of drags. So it's hard to see where the parts are being missed. It's better to put it all over it without not being too excessive. Otherwise you will get runs regardless of whether it's spinning around on a barbecue spit or not. So um, yeah, easy job to do, but just keep those tips in mind. been 24 hours and uh, it's been left to cure on the spit <coughs> um, so it's completely roasted as you can see here I'm very very happy in the result so the uh, almost clear epoxy uh, as reveals all the uh, features of the uh, burl wall the cherry burl wood um, the pine cones have almost been turned away but still got remnants of them in there and um, they look pretty cool uh, the inside of the Cherry bowl has come out extremely well. You can see a few dimples in there, so there's going to be another coat for sure. 
and of course I've got the foot on the on the bottom to take off and uh, turn that back. So uh, another coat to get rid of the dimples, and then uh, the foot comes off, and then the final coat for um, the bottom of that as well. So we'll be back soon. So this is the second coat that's going on. I decided to um, release this video with just these uh, photos at the end of the video because um, it's going to take at least another week before it's cured and that foot taken off by using the vacuum truck on the inside of the bowl. It will indent um, the, uh, the uh, table top epoxy if you don't allow it to uh, cure after four or five days. So um, long story short, I'm going to get the video released so you guys can see this. Um, you can see the bowl, but it's turned out amazingly well. I'm very, very happy with the result. The ch uh, cherry burl has um, certainly been showcased using uh, the epoxy uh, finish. And this project, even though it took uh, longer than the usual projects, um, very, very pleased with the result. Anyway, guys, um, see below. Um, hit the like, subscribe, uh, and the bell as usual. And um, yeah, another video is coming up next week. Um, look forward to seeing you all again. Cheers.